Hello everybody, welcome to Build Fly Go. So I haven't done a flight video in a little while. We've been busy building, and uh, so this is a little delayed from September of this year. Um, we, This is myself uh, flying 9 Army Victor and uh, meeting up with 5-7 Tango. I believe Sam and Dale were in 5-7 Tango. You've seen both of them in other videos. Um, they were... Uh, I think I saw a message on Facebook that they were out flying, and I thought, well, why not? So, <laughs> so any excuse, right? So um, I met up with them at Sock, which you will see momentarily. Sock is a smaller private airport in the area. Um, it's private but public use. There's a single runway, um, and uh, it's I think it's about three thousand feet, three thousand by sixty ish. It's a north south runway. Um, pretty, really nice, really good condition runway. Um, there are, I don't believe there are any instrument approaches out there, uh, which is fine. Maybe there's an RNAV. I bet there's an RNAV in each direction. There's an RNAV everywhere, right? <laughs> um, well, granted, I wish there were a couple of extra RNAVs in, in our Brazil trip, but anyway, um, they have fuel. They have uh, UL-94, uh, or UL-92. Uh, one, I don't, I think it's UL-92. Um, but no avgas, uh, and unfortunately, oh, there, there it is. Um, and unfortunately, I can't run on UL ninety four. Um, I need a hundred octane because of the um, high compression and uh, the electronic ignition that I have. I need hundred octane. So here we are, um, and I believe they're right there at the fuel tanks. Yep. So I just pulled off into the grass. Uh, you see the airport manager is out mowing the lawn, <laughs> so it's sort of fun to watch the lawnmower going back and forth. Um, I sped that up a little bit because I'm sure you don't want to watch uh, five minutes of me uh, just chatting with people. Um, they filled up. Uh, unfortunately, I did not fill up, and I am um, not at minimum fuel, but I, I definitely I think I had like an hour and a half of fuel left or something like that. So uh, my plan is we're going to play around a little bit, then I'm going to get fuel somewhere else. And so we take off, it looks like taking off northbound uh, on Sock there, at Sock there. And there is a corn maze uh, pretty nearby. It's near Lodi, I think it's west of Lodi. You can sort of see, every so often you can see 5-7 Tango off, the, off to the left there. Um, oh, here we go, we're over the... Uh, corn maze, and hopefully we're going to get to see it. I'm circling it. I don't know if I'm going to be circling tight enough that you'll be able to see it off of the wing. I'll insert a picture. <laughs> anyway, so a couple of loops around the corn maze, and then I was like, well, I'm going to go to um, over Devil's Lake, which is a state park. You can see it right there. There's a lake sort of in the valley, and it's gorgeous, like this, this little approach with the valley. Um, and people go swimming there, and there's people that go scuba diving there. It's really a nice little lake. There's some some uh, rocks to climb. You can see right there. Uh, lots of nice hikes. So a couple loops around the lake, and then I go to the Dells Airport. So Kilo Delta Lima Lima is actually right there. Um, if you take a peek at a chart, you can see where it is compared to Madison. And uh, the idea is just, you know, I'm not quite done, don't really want to go into Madison yet, so let's land somewhere else, get some fuel. Uh, I want to say the fuel there was just slightly cheaper than Madison fuel. Um, as you know, I usually go uh, elsewhere for fuel. Um, I would love to uh, buy fuel at my local airport, uh, but they usually take a really long time to come out and fuel you up, and they're usually <laughs> about a dollar more expensive than other nearby airports. So unfortunately, I tend to tend to go elsewhere for fuel. Um, in this case, I don't know how much the fuel was here. It was, pro it was most likely cheaper than, than our local fuel, but um, it was convenient more than anything else and something different to do. Um, there were a couple of other people uh, flying around here. Um, I believe someone was uh, uh, doing some training flights. So it was sort of fun to, to come up and buzz around. So now we are heading back to Madison and um, just heading uh, south. I believe we're landing uh, northbound, north flow. And uh, I'm going to line up for a left base for runway 18. If I remember correctly, this was a couple of months back. Um, if I remember correctly, um, 
you know, everything was normal and, and fine. And uh, ATC asked if they could slot me in in front of a, a jet or something. So <laughs> I ended up um, sort of shortening the approach. And uh, you, you'll see my base to final turn uh, ends up being pretty close to, to a very short final, um, which was fun, right? I mean, it's, it's perfectly safe. It's just a little tighter of a pattern than you usually see me do. You usually see me do these huge patterns because I'm not in a hurry and uh, <laughs> I don't really want to get down and, and go home. Um, here we go, right? Like I'm flying almost straight to the numbers and uh, sort of turning in. And uh, making that first turn off. Hey, Amy. Um, and then uh, Bravo Delta and South Ramp. So uh, thanks for thanks for watching. Um, I'll give you a quick moment of zen coming up and leave the camera running while uh, I clean down the airplane and wipe all the bugs off. <laughs> thanks, thanks for watching. Um, do subscribe. It really does help the channel. Um, I know there's an ad here or there. I appreciate it. Uh, YouTube throws us a couple of bucks. Um, for uh, all of the views that we get from you guys. So the more you watch, uh, you know, you get, to, you get to fund more flights, right? You get to fund more videos effectively. And uh, um, hopefully you've t told me in the comments what it is, that, what kinds of videos you like seeing, what you want me to do next. And um, I do my best to get those videos out to you guys. All right. Enjoy. Thanks again. We'll talk soon.